I uh, just want to take a quick look at engine here. Uh, as you can see, engine is on kind of a breakout today. It's about almost 13% up at the moment. Um, now, it is breaking above this area, this whole area here. So that's a good sign, I would say, for engine. Um, now, it's still in the accumulation uh, zone. Um, kind of got tongue twisted there, accumulation zone. Um, anyways, guys, uh, let me draw a line here. Now, what we want to do is we want to hold this line today. And if we can break above this line, you know, on the longer time frames, uh, let's see if we've already done it in the four hour. Uh, ooh, it's right on the border. So, but yes, if I zoom and zoom and zoom, you can see that it did close this candle above this line. Now, of course, this isn't the most perfect line probably, but yeah, even if I adjusted this line, maybe a little bit more down where you have more resistance, like, you know, here, uh, there we go. Uh, I'll leave it there, guys. Anyways, yeah, you can see it looks like more uh, candles touched it, you know, um, along this point. So yeah, it did clearly break above. Um, now, let's see, what do I be looking for? Let me put this back on the daily. And uh, I do believe we're going to kind of get a ride up to, yeah, probably around here. Around 42 cents is where I expect the next, you know, stop. Um, and then, guys, probably it's going to be right around here. It's going to be the next resistance at around 48. And, you know, basically, I would say if we get up to the top of this again, 66 will probably be, you know, riding up a little bit more higher. Um, let's see. Let me kind of zoom out in the weekly chart here and see if I can see anything more significant. Yeah, well, I mean, basically, yeah, if we get up past 66 cents, I think it's going to get, you know, a little bit easier uh, and quicker. Um, now, the all-time high for engine was around, yeah, what was it, like 390, almost, yeah, okay, almost five bucks, okay, 484, I can see it over there. Um, but there is not a lot of volume, I'm sure, up here at these heights. So, probably after 66 cents, you know, you're looking to come up to... Maybe about a dollar seventeen. It looks like um, I'm gonna go ahead and mark that off. A dollar sixteen doesn't matter. It's it's not perfect, um, but you can see there was some support here, uh, support here, and then you're gonna have to get through this, you know, Fibonacci here at about a dollar twenty nine, and uh, you know, then you're out of the accumulation accumulation zone or whatever. And uh, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here. But engine is looking, you know, much better. Um, but yeah, we just need to hold 35 and a half cents for now. Uh, get up past, you know, 42 and a half cents, and then about 48 and a half cents. You know, those are the next uh, zones of, you know, resistance we need to break. Not zones, <laughs> supports or resistance lines. We can say, um, actually, resistance in this case, but. Uh, 35 and a half is becoming support at the moment since we already closed the four hour candle above that line. So anyways, guys, let me move on to Bitcoin. I'm kind of rambling on. Uh, right now you can see it's just at just over $70,000. This is kind of the range that we need to break, um, you know, to get above this whole area where we've been for several days now. Um, if we can do that, I do believe you know, we're going to come up here to about 71.4. And if we break this neckline and we close a candle above it, I do believe you're going to see a very quick move up. Um, there's a lot of patterns that I've noticed in the past with altcoins and things. They have a big pump. They come back down. They kind of do like a little cup. And then once they break that ne neckline, they pump up really quickly. So I believe... Bitcoin is probably days away from something like this, maximum. Probably by the end of the week, you'll probably see a, a pump on Bitcoin. 
and you'll probably see the highest close that it's had. Um, as you know, barring any news which could be negative, you know. So if there's any negative news that comes out, I don't know what it could be, or a new war starts or something like this, hey, it's, you know, then that can affect, uh, you know, the Bitcoin price, of course. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, it is looking better. Uh, I would prefer a close over 70000 or higher. And, um, you know, basically engine, like I said, looking much better. So we'll see where this can close today. But, yeah. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, like, subscribe, activate the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.